This is Hamish, who is an adult West Highland White Terrier, and he is a little bit nervous about some handling. So the video you're about to see shows us doing some work with uh, asking Hamish to participate in his training and to be willing uh, to be handled a little bit by me. So I'm doing a little bit of work around his collar and introducing the lead. So all this is done in Hamish's terms. Um, I've put the treat in my hand there and he takes it from my hand and that's just letting him know that my hand is safe, it doesn't try and touch him. He needs to lean towards my hand in order to get the treat and if he doesn't want to get uh, lean across my hand, he doesn't need to. So there what I've done is I've taken the treat in my right hand and held my left hand in place and he needs to lean across my left hand in order to get the treat. Now as long as my left hand is in place, the treat is still there. So he's nibbling at it there, I take my hand away and then release the treat to him. So as long as my left hand is under his chin, the treat is always there. Same again here. And I'm just giving him a little bit of a scratch under the chin. And the hand goes away and then the treat gets released into his face. Sorry, into his mouth. Now what I've done here is I've thrown the treat away from him because I'm I need to get up so I don't stand up in front of him. I throw the treat and that gets him moving and it allows me to stand up so that he doesn't get spooked. I'm going to do the same again here. He's a little bit reluctant here. You see him holding back. So what I'm doing here is I'm just helping him come in by putting treats on the floor. And again, it's all on his terms. I'm not trying to touch him. He needs to lean in towards me. So he has to touch me rather than me touching him. He backs off a little bit there. So I've, I've leant away from him to release that little bit of social pressure that he's feeling. Same again put the treat on the floor and I back off and it's letting him know the whole time I am not going to try and pet him. He needs to come in and see me when he's ready. So he offers a paw here, which is a learned behaviour. That's something that he's been taught. So he doesn't understand what this game is about yet and he's trying to do behaviours that he's been previously reinforced for. You see him doing it again. He leans on his left. Now he takes a little bit of a sidestep here. And I think that's him saying that he's not overly concerned about playing this game, but that's okay because we're just going at his own pace. I get a text message just there, and that could have spooked him, which means I should have switched my phone on silent before I got in. So you see him offering a paw again there. Now he has to lean in forward. He leans in, lets me touch him, and I take my hand away. Now what I'm going to do here is put the lead on my knee, and I do that while he's away from me. And this is to, so that I can attach the lead to his collar. But this is the first session of us doing it. I don't actually attach the lead to his collar here. I just touch his collar and then release the treat. He leans forward again. I touch his collar with the lead in my hand this time. Take it away and give him the treat. So he backs off a little bit there, which is him telling me that I maybe had enough. So I ask for one more. Now I probably should have just stopped there when he backed off and given him a break.